Now to a developing story out of Lansing. Chaos broke out in the state house today as lawmakers started voting on Governor Whitmer's tax proposals. Democrats quickly closed the vote, leading to Republicans shouting that their voices were being silenced. Then in the Senate, before a vote could even be taken, Republicans adjourned while majority Democrats were in caucus. Political reporter Rick Albin got reaction to all this from Democratic Senate Majority Leader Winnie Brinks and Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist. Senator, first of all, thanks for doing this on very short notice. Explain to me, if you can, procedurally what happened today, I think while you were in caucus. Yes, that's correct. Uh, you know, uh, as well as I do, Rick, that um, when we are considering items for the day, we will often go into our caucus room and discuss what's on the agenda uh, and discuss any issues around that, answer any questions for our caucus members. Uh, you, those are generally relatively short meetings, uh, depending on how many items on our agenda. There's one item on our agenda today. We had a very short meeting planned. And uh, while we were in our caucus room uh, doing what we always do, the Republicans uh, uh, chose to really um, violate what is typical behavior and to uh, just grab the gavel and uh, adjourn the session of the Senate without taking action on the one bill that was before us. What does that do as a practical matter? It just pushes it down the road, right? Yeah, really, it's it's a little bit silly that they did this because it really changes nothing about um, the actions that we were about to take on a bill uh, that we were going to vote out of the chamber. Uh, they don't like the bill, and uh, it seems pretty clear that there were folks in their caucus that uh, were not eager to vote on it. Um, but this is really kind of cowardly. Uh, you know, the citizens of Michigan expect people to do their job. And when they send them to the Capitol, uh, this is sort of the bare bones of what we are expected to do is to vote on legislation. Uh, we do get to determine the agenda uh, as the majority caucus. We did that. Uh, I've been in their shoes as a minority member for many years. And, uh, you know, I always showed up to work and that's the least that they can do. This doesn't really change anything. I mean, you'll come back on Tuesday and pass the bill, I assume. But what does this do about the working relationship between you and uh, the minority? And uh, I've already talked to Senate Majority Leader Brinks. I mean, um, you guys got the better part of four years to keep this going. I mean, it shows the difference in how we take seriously our responsibilities. You know, Democrats certainly take seriously the responsibility to be present, to show up for working families and retired people and deliver relief to families. And the Republicans in the Senate literally ran away from that responsibility. I mean, it's really unprecedented, the stunt that they pulled. But we're going to continue to show up. And so, yes, when we come back, uh, we're going to come back and deliver for those families that they were in, they walked out on. Republicans have been saying for two weeks that they oppose the transfer of $800 million. They say it is designed to stop a trigger for an income tax reduction that could come this year. Do they have a legitimate question about that transfer of money? No, the Republican proposal will put for a single mom in Michigan making $24,000 a year, their plan would, would give her $16 in relief. Our plan would be $180 of uh, in immediate inflation relief, plus a working family's tax credit that'd be on average of $3,125. This is real money, real relief that can be available to people right now. So uh, just to be clear, that $800 million that would move would, would kill the trigger on that income tax relief and you and uh, the governor and Democrats believe that the package that you're offering up is better than a rollback in income tax. Yeah, the package that we're offering up is meaningful and real belief for people that would take effect immediately. And we're not gonna walk out of Michigan family, we're gonna stay here and get it done. Well, one thing that uh, both parties have guaranteed is there'll be a lot of media in the chamber on Tuesday. We look forward to seeing you there. And uh, we appreciate as always you taking the time to do this. I, I cannot wait for you to be there to see Democrats delivering for families. All right. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you, Rick. Take care. Assistant Republican Minority Leader Brian Postumas also issuing a response tonight, saying in part, quote, this is exactly why people across our state don't trust what is going on in Lansing. Even one House Democrat called this political suicide, and that's exactly what this secret tax hike is.